the Strength of America podcast. Bob Davis back again. Welcome to Strength of America uh, podcast, episode 30, and we're excited. The 30 is actually the start of my 30th year of Strength of America. I left uh, the University of Nebraska 29 years ago, and what better way to do that than to bring in the godfather of strength and conditioning, Boyd Epley at the University of Nebraska, and uh, who started me with our program, gave me the foundation, and we'll talk more about that as we go along as well. But uh, first, welcome. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate it, sir. So uh, there was <clears throat> everywhere. I mean, we've been. Uh, it's been hard to watch for a lot of you know, Nebraska fans for a lot of years. What's happened? What's going on? But now there's so much more excitement coming back about the Husker power really coming back into it and Zach coming into the program and you getting back in as well back here at Nebraska and with the time gone. And uh, tell us a little bit about maybe some of the things that haven't happened but are going the right way now okay. and where we're happening. Well, Nebraska got away from Nebraska yeah. <laughs> and Husker power and the basics. And it showed on the field. The players weren't... Uh, dominating physically like they used to and and the fans were pretty upset with it but that each time they made a change it seemed to make it worse but now i think they've made a tremendous uh, improvement in hiring scott frost i can't imagine a better coach for nebraska at this time he was our quarterback when we were national champions last in 1997 with a win over tennessee and peyton manning was a Sure. Sadly, in his own right. But Scott, not only was the quarterback, he was the strongest player on the team. He could clean 300 pounds for 10 reps. As a quarterback. And if, uh, <laughs> As if, any athlete, awesome. And if you take a look at him now, it looks like he can still do it. Yeah. He stayed in shape. In fact, I read in the paper, I didn't see this, but I read in the paper last year during uh, their practices, he jumped in and ran the scout team as their quarterback in order to show him how it needed to be done. So he's pretty physical. And his strength coach is uh, Zach Duvall, as you mentioned. Zach worked here at Nebraska maybe 10 years, something like that. And he really believes in our principles, and he's putting those to use now. And that's awesome. I think that's where I think so many programs get away from it, that they're – we had that root of the problem years ago when we did. It was, you know, strength. It was power, you know, deceleration, protecting the knees and getting the athlete so it can handle the stress of the sport. Then we saw a series I've seen, especially the last 10, 10, 12 years or so, where there's getting a lot of extra fine tuning, which is great. But if you don't get that athlete to the base of where they need to go, injuries are another problem that we see. There's a lot of fluff going on. A lot of fluff. Our 10 principles have been updated. I left Nebraska for about eight years to work with the national headquarters for strength coaches in Colorado Springs, the NSCA which is a, a, actually an organization that we founded here in Nebraska, but they, um, they moved to Colorado because they got a better, a better rate on that land. <clears throat> and so um, the NSCA uh, has done a lot, of, a lot of really good things, but while I was gone, Nebraska just, just got away from what they needed to be doing. But those 10 principles, uh, when I got back, we up, upgraded them. Mike Arthur, who who helped write the original ones, is still here at Nebraska. We hired him in 1976, and he is still here at Nebraska, awesome. and he is pretty special. Yeah. So we took another look at those 10 principles, and they're free online at our website, huskers.com. And you don't go to look at a sport. You look at what's called inside athletics, and you can find Husker Power. And the 10 principles are there for anyone to look at. Perfect. We'll put that link down so you guys have that because that's that's essential. We've got to have the basics down before you can get the other stuff in. But we tend to want to do all the fancy stuff and have all these boxes. And, and that's where YouTube has been, it's been good and bad. We've talked about it before. I mean, everybody's got any kind of video on how to do this or that. But the common sense doesn't drop into it a whole lot. Yeah, if you're going to bake a cake, you need to have the recipe that tastes best and uh, yeah. And not veer too far away from that recipe. No. Yeah, and you hit the basics, and he definitely has that recipe. He's got that up. Uh, how about as far as uh, what do you see really progressing in the way of strength? You know, I've looked at, followed some of the stuff Zach's been doing and the progression, the amount of weight these guys are gaining, the strength that they're getting involved in, the competition and getting into it. Uh, how how that transition going on as far as their strength, speed, getting prepared for the season? Now? Well, a lot of it has to do with putting on muscle, and so that's why you train. Uh, because as you put on muscle, your performance improves. 
And a lot of people don't get that. You know, they, uh, they get into running and maybe too much running, and then you don't put on the muscle. Right. And so we measure all that with the performance indicators, the vertical jump, and the 10-yard dash, and the pro agility run. Those tests identify when you, you have actually an improvement in performance. But if you can improve on those three tests, you're going to be a better athlete. But the way to improve those three tests is to put on more muscle. Yeah. Well, and you're going to see that on the field for sure this fall. We've already seen what's going on in the spring. There are updates, what's happening there, their progress or their strength, speed, and performance out there. But the other part is the nutrition. I mean, I've been, I'm impressed. We always emphasize that with the training table and things here, but now there's another level, and Dave Ellis is back as well, taking right. on that with nutrition. Well, Dave wasn't here until just now, and so Zach has to operate uh, and do a lot of the nutrition work himself. Sure. But Dave Ellis also worked with us uh, for years, uh, first as a strength coach, and, uh, and then as our assistant director of, the, of uh, our performance team for nutrition. And now he's got his own department on nutrition. And I don't know of anyone better than Dave Ellis in the area of nutrition. He's tremendous. Yeah, he's done a great job. He was here when I was here in the late 80s. I was a mm -hmm. student assistant at that time going into it and following the things that he's doing. He really had a passion for it. And he went out kind of like I did and created an organization. I created one for strength coaches. He created one for nutritionists and was their first president. And he's had a lot of success and has consulted about every team you can name professionally and college and so he has a tremendous amount of experience and now he's going to put that all that knowledge into into action here at nebraska yeah and that's terrific and that, that's a component that we talk about with training these athletes it's missed too much as a recovery their performance or energy if they're not eating hydrating right sleeping getting their body recovery you can work out the right program all day long and the body's going to spin its wheels yeah, nutrition is really important part of it and uh, people just don't realize that, so they kind of just skim, skim by, and they don't see the gains. Yeah. Now, you also mentioned that with, and with founding the National Strength Conditioning Association, getting back involved, you've always been in and out and helping with that as well. But now they've also got a program and an award going out helping these high school coaches. Actually, uh, when you went to Arizona, you coined the name Strength of America. We had a Strength of Nebraska book for years that helped coaches. But I wanted to use that uh, Strength of America name um, for an award presented by the NSA. So I reached out to you and, and uh, made sure that was okay with you. So the NSA now has this award called the Strength of America Award, and it's geared for high schools. And it's a, it's a lot of work. A high school has to actually do a lot of preparation to qualify for this award. And in doing so, it makes their program better. It's free. And... I guarantee you, anyone that's in the Strength of America Award program is, is doing a really good job with their high school athletic programs. Yeah, and that's key. So that's you know, what we want to bring to you is some more tools and things to help you as coaches to be able to help those athletes get more. We understand now that just playing football is not enough. You've got a condition. You've got to do that year-round and eating, hydrating, all of that. But just because you've always done it, doesn't mean it's always right. So you have to keep looking back at that. Look at your base recipe, what you can do from there. We'll make sure we've got the links for uh, the Husker information, all the stuff going on for the, the uh, how to get better, how to get into the, the NSCA Strength of America Award program, and and all the links and everything else about it. So you can follow us in Nebraska and see what's happening and uh, coming back to the old school program and Husker Power and rebuilding and how we dominate on the field again. So I'm excited for that. The winners of that uh, NSCA award are announced each July at the national conference uh, at the award ceremony. And so it's a big deal. It is a lot of work. Sure. It's a lot of work, but it's, it's all in the right direction. Needs to be. That's a part of it. So build that foundation. I want to appreciate the time for Boyd getting the tour. I'm also going to show some little short video clips and, and pictures around that we did. And I got a great tour, uh, first class tour from Boyd, who knows better than what's going on, who's really helped design a lot of what's happening here and expanding. And, and as, as always, he's got bigger and better. He's got more things he's not done yet. So well, we're just getting warmed up. Yeah, that's, we've been warming up for the last 40 years. I've known him. So that's good. We just keep it going. I like that. Keeps me motivated. And, and again, that's where I got my roots. And, and he's done so much for the strength and conditioning community and athletes and thousands of them through the years. But giving me that foundation of starting with uh, when I was just a student assistant here 
on the principle of understanding it's not just the weight room stuff, but outside of the weight room and what you do and the business and, and how you carry yourself and what you do outside of it really makes a difference in that. And Boyd's been a great example. So really appreciate it. Thank you well, for thank everything you. you've done and continue. You, and we'll keep posted and keep going. But uh, let's go Big Red. Just See what remember, happens this fall. Just remember one thing. The great ones adjust. Always. Remember that over the top. We've been adjusting all this. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Make sure you like, subscribe, get this on short with all your Husker fans, and uh, uh, we'll see you this next week. Thank you. That's awesome.